Good morning, this is the Hangui CGTN Radio. I think many agree that no trip to Beijing is complete without a tour of the Forbidden City. Now, maybe you've all seen pictures on social media of the place left almost empty during the pandemic. These images, though serene and beautiful, were in stark contrast to the normally overcrowded scenes inside the palace grounds. They also rather poignantly reflected the plight facing tourism after COVID. Now that Beijing has passed the peak of infections, I wonder if the crowds are finally coming back. I've just arrived at the Meridian Gate, which is the main entrance to the former Imperial Palace. It's Wednesday 11 a.m. The current temperature stands at freezing point. But look at my fellow visitors. They don't seem to mind the cold at all. Just part through the entrance. So here's a quick reminder for those who are planning a visit. Make sure you book a ticket online at least a day beforehand, as I did. It's 40 yuan at this time of the year, which I reckon is really good value for the money. Looks like we can store those Weibo pictures in the back of our memory now. I wonder if there's one single quiet spot in here. Well, apparently this is no longer the empty place it was just a couple of weeks ago. The Forbidden City is in fact a microcosm of the society at large that is gradually transitioning back to normality. For example, official data shows that about 2.7 million people visited Beijing's key scenic spots during the New Year holiday, amounting to over 86% of the pre-pandemic figure in the same period of 2019. Now is the Spring Festival just around the corner, it looks like the tourism sector is in for an even bigger time this year. This is CGTN Radio. Hear the difference.